True news and reviews. Y'all know how we do. We back. This your boy Rob and Ja. Yes, Give it's it the home you. of hip hop commentary, man. And we gotta we gotta talk about a debate that's been sparked in the community ever since Tony okay. Yayo made a very impactful, uh, you know, uh, interview with Nori and the debate about Ice Cube versus Biggie as a storyteller come came up is that pretty much the gist of it bob yep yep we asked yeah. him uh, about ice cube and biggie and yeah he chose biggie i mean he from that side so well let's hear it from the source let's hear it from their mouth oh hold on why does this thing always start off muted i don't like that but let me see oh It's gonna be Ice Cube. I'm gonna go with Biggie. Okay. Ice Cube over Biggie? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, Ice Cube over. And my top five is Big L. So you would say Biggie got, Ice Cube got better verses than Biggie? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Today's agenda. I had the suitcase up in the centra. Big, Biggie's in my top five. Biggie's in my top five. Center. My man. You create the no Vaseline. Obliterate so you that. Saying, obliterate you that. Say, so you saying that Ice certificate as an album? Hold on. That certificate as an this album? Why I hate this industry. Obliterate shit. Hold on. <laughs> so you saying it's you telling me Ice Cube is a better storytell, storyteller than Biggie? Lyricist? You fucking bug me. Whoa. Yeah, but Biggie's one of the best. You lost your fucking mind. But Biggie's one of the best. Big Ice Cube is better than Biggie with storytelling. As a totality, yes. you fucking fucking nigga. <laughs> you lost your fucking mind. I lost it. From from what? Today's agenda to I got a story man, to tell. They, from they when Ice Cube about from? fucking bitches and they men pull up and all that. New, you saying? Don't get me wrong. Ice Cube is fire. Are you serious? Story Are you telling? serious? N.W.A. Best. Biggie? That certificate, America's most wanted. You're bugging. Kill at will. No. Are you serious? The best story. Look, Are you serious, bro? The Are best... you serious? Yes, I am. No, you're not. The... Whoa, that got really heated. I like it though. It's a debate to be had. Where you at with it? I go Ice Cube. I go big. <laughs> Just because music is subjective, I listen to Big more often than I listen to Q. Um, Story to Tell, one of my favorite songs ever. Yeah, I guess I bias. I'm a big, uh, big Q fan, so that was one of the first rappers I actually heard. So uh, I always thought yeah. he was top three in there, but yeah so uh um, honestly honestly so i'm a bias on that like i only yeah. heard a little bit of biggie so i'm already yeah. more you know my dad was on ice cube so when i was on ice right. cube it's more of a so it's a bias to me but definitely biggie is a great storyteller finesse but i just like cube style i like how he can you know he's a writer bro he writes what's your movies. favorite storytelling he's a, he's a storyteller from ice cube. you know huh What's your favorite storytelling record from Ice Cube? Today was a good day. Mine too. Mine so too. I got that's I like my that. top. Like if you that's the top song that you know what I mean. So yeah. that storytell was like that's the best one out there to me, and there's nothing yeah. better. So I feel like he got the crown crown for the top storyteller. You know that day I just I can understand clearly what he going through, and it was like it touched me. It's like I can you know. I'm gonna tell you know. this. One of my because they got to the talking about who's who's better as a my, my favorite one is story to tell, but they got to talking about who is the better rhymer and rapper. And though you know, maybe I connected with Big more being that I was born in Brooklyn, Biggie born in Brooklyn, and that was just you know the people I was rocking with at the time. But I will say that and that West Coast, East Coast beef thing was serious you know what i'm saying like when at the age i was you i was picking sides a little bit you know i'm just a little kid but it kind of like made me put ice cube in another box for some reason but 
what I'm getting to is one of my fondest memories was when we was on a road trip together. Like our family w- was together and we was listening to uh, that Ice Cube album, that West Side Connection album. We was on the way to uh, Mississippi oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. New Orleans. Cause that goes so hard, dog. That whole album, we used to play that with no skips. Yeah, so it's not like I don't know who Ice Cube is. Like he is that boy. Like for real. Like uh, <laughs> I can definitely see somebody making a good argument for him being top three. Even this conversation is making me kind of reconsider it. But instinctively, I would just say big. But when you when you put it on paper, it's like I don't. You know, what I'm saying you got to really this think man about writing it. movies. Like who is a better story? Like he come on, come man. on, man. You we got to talk about it because it, it's I, like I'm glad you brought that up. Come because on, man. Ice Cube responds to Tony Yayo's claim Biggie was better storyteller than him, and um, he said it's subjective. This is a quote. Everybody got their favorites. I put my stories up against anybody, and I have a bigger sample size. But at the end of the day, everybody is going to have their different opinion. I love Biggie. I'm a fan of Biggie. He said, I wrote records for Easy and NWA. And look, when we talking about storytelling, are we talking about rhyming? Because I write movies too. So I'm a hell of a storyteller. I can tell a damn story. So are we just talking about rap? That's only a portion of what I do. That's a hell of a point. We got to we gotta first yeah. establish what standards are we going by. If we're going to open it up to that, and I will say that DJ um, EFN, he did say in to- totality, he used that word. I wrote that down. <laughs> in totality, he was right in that debate. I would have been trying to argue Biggie too just because you're going to be connected to the music that you were with in your formative years. But yeah. it's like Ice Cube said, he has a bigger sample size. And if Ice Cube had got killed, we probably, I, I mean, I hate to say this, but if Ice Cube had got killed, we probably would be putting like Ice Cube way higher. Like we don't appreciate Cube enough. Is there is there a more consistent rapper that you could think of? Yeah, he got to be up there with Snoop Dogg. But I think as far as hip hop i just put him in the top man i feel like he was just he's an impact man we got to you know he up there you know he definitely <laughs> i still go big because a uh, story to tell uh give me the loot rapping yeah but i'm saying yeah. you know what i'm saying like, i give it to i give it to q but as far as yeah. rapping yeah. you know what i mean i would give it to i say big was a more of a yeah. so you know he'll say some clever things but storytelling yeah. Nah, man, you can't get that crown of big. No way. I still like his storyteller raps bigger than Q's. We we even got a little debate about it. Like we we take. But it was on. like fictional kind of stuff too, though. That big was kind of said. You know, he had his. I mean, uh, I don't think yeah. everything Q was saying was, was realistic. Come on now. I mean, I mean, it Q wasn't like it... Q wasn't even a gangster. He was. He was not. A, <laughs> he was not affiliated. You know what I'm saying? So he was talking about a lot of what Come he's on, seen. Man. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, I'm just saying. People, we, yeah, that could get, you know, that could get, man, we all from some, the hood. So, look, you know what I mean? I'm, if I'm wrong, he's somebody from forever. the hood. Like, yeah, but that's, I mean, he from the hood. He grew up in the hood. But, like, but you talk about y'all people like? making up, so you acting like Biggie did you know, come from the hood. And, and by the way, this is our poll that we got going on. It's heating up. We got a whole five votes, man. Y'all tap in, man. Y'all let us know you know, who y'all think is better. But yeah, you, you feel Ice Cube's storytelling was more realistic than Biggie's? I, I feel like today was a good day is, yeah, that storytelling was just Biggie ain't no story that Biggie told can top that. Well, if you're talking about story to tell, they yeah. said that that story does have um truth to it. Like he said, she get from a play off the New York Knicks. Yeah, that was they said that that was really about uh 
was that Anthony Mason that played for the Knicks? I know you more. Damn, you more. You dropped, I don't know about all of that though. No, I his mean, name was mean, Anthony Mason. I know you're more yeah. in the sports thing because I don't want people yeah. getting on my head top about the. It, okay, so they yeah. said the story was about him. So this was tied to real events. I'm not taking yeah. nothing away from. Uh, dang. Uh, Cute. Today was a good day because that is. It's, it's more of a marketable song. You know, I think that probably might even get played more. I don't know. It would be good to look up. But even if we talk about, if we're going to add the movie thing into it, come on, man. I, I Then it gets a little bit crazy. This man wrote all about the Benjamins, Friday, Friday After Next, uh, Janky Promoters. That slept on. Yeah. Next Friday, Players Club. That was awesome. But, Come on, man. like, is is he got a deep bag? You know what I'm saying? And then we yeah. didn't even do we bring up the fact that he was writing for people in the NWA. So a lot yeah. of stuff that we probably give credit to Easy for somebody or or Dre even yeah. is Cube's pen. So mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not like it's probably people who could maybe even argue the case a little bit better than I'm doing right now. You feel me for big, but. I just, I'm just, music is subjective. The cube thing didn't resonate with me like that for whatever reason. But as you said, it's going to connect with you because your pops was on that West Coast. You and your, you and your pops put me <laughs> on to um, Too Short, too. Yeah, Too we Short was to, another one. Well, we was, was on, on that Too Short. Too boy. Short. Yeah, Too Short was a big one. Yeah. Or, E-40, Too yeah. Short, E-40. See, I'm letting the other stuff influence my mind maybe mm-hmm. a little bit. I don't know. It could be that because we're we're all subject to bias, you know, yeah. in, in this world. And you be doing some extra stuff outside of music. Maybe I can't separate uh, him from the other stuff. You been hearing about him? Yeah, he been uh, he been he been he been out here. He been talking yeah, he, talk. he, he talking shows about, with different people. Yeah, <laughs> he, he he out here with RFK Junior taking pictures there's mixed reactions about that i saw rfk jr getting backlash as well as ice cube getting backlash some people calling him a sellout and then some people might be coming at rfk jr where if anybody doesn't know rfk jr is running against biden uh he runs as a democrat but he's supported by a lot of republicans and i think he might be a disturbed guy you know he does spread a lot of vaccine misinformation you know Mm. as does as does ice cube (laughs) uh ice cube has been known to uh you know kind of push some anti-semitic conspiracy theories sometimes too so it's like i like some things that q would be saying but some things q would say i'm not really i mean you know what i'm saying you never know what you're gonna do with yeah, yeah, y'all be that's what everybody Ooh, he, everybody gonna I say mean, something, you know what I mean? Cube I, speaking, he can only yeah. speak what his you know what his truth or what he see is. And if you know he gotta you gotta be able to whatever you feel, you gotta be able to stand on it. And at I'm least just, to me, he stand on what he say, he don't run from it, he's letting okay, you know, okay. you know, he's not no he but ain't hiding man, his hand. Every, everything yeah. shouldn't be stood on, like okay, you, you it's Kanye standing on what he said, you support all of that. Kanye said he learned from Ice Cube. That got him on all the anti-Semitic stuff. That what I that what Kanye said. You 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 support that as well. I just you know it, it's just, people in the KKK mm-hmm. standing on what they believe in. You feel me? You gonna respect it just because they standing on it, or does it have to be something that you vibe with? That's the question. Yeah, yeah, could be a bias know. there. Oh, no, yeah. Maybe that has but, nothing to do with it, but if we yeah, talk about it let totality. It, let, let, let's let's broaden it all out. I ain't mm-hmm. never hear Biggie on nothing like that, you know. But he was here for a shorter time. Who knows what he could have got here for a shorter time? But hey, know, I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Definitely. Do y'all think it was Cube in storytelling, or do you think it was Biggie? We got the poll. Y'all yeah, go ahead in the and community section. In, yeah, y'all in, vote. You know, get yeah. us in the algorithm, and we're gonna catch y'all in the next. You're damn right. True.